A uh, few days after we released version 1.1 of Reloaded's workshop with the target calculator, we decided to go ahead and release version 1.1.002, which includes the target scanner. Uh, this allows you to scan, use your scanner to scan the targets rather than taking a picture and either loading them from your phone or loading them from a camera or uh, uh, transferring them to your hard drive. You can just scan the, the, the targets directly. I've had a few questions about how to go about doing the scanning. Well, under the file menu, you'll see the very last option here is scan target image. And it'll bring you up a dialog and it'll list all the scanners that you have. If you just have the one, go ahead and make sure it's highlighted and hit OK. What that'll do is bring up the scanner dialog. Now, if you just hit the scan button here, you're going to end up with whatever the scanner wants to give you. And I'll let it scan the document here. And you see what it gives me is basically a eight and a half by eleven version of the, the target. The target holes are very small and this would be difficult to work with. Uh, there's a lot of wasted space at the top and the bottom here. Uh, so it, it'd be difficult to mark your shots and everything using just unfiltered scan of your uh, uh, target. So what I've done, or what you can do, or what you should do, is hit the preview button instead. What that'll do is put the scanned target in your little preview box here, and then you can use the crop tool to crop out parts of the target that you don't want. I mean, you can get right down in on the area of the target that you want. The, the important parts here are getting the aim point uh, of the target uh, in the cropped box here, and get all of your shots in that cropped portion of the image. Now I can hit scan, and what I'll end up with is a, more of a close-up version of the target. So I can see my my uh, aim point. I can see all five of the shots that I have on this target. Um, target was shot at 20 yards of the 40 Smith and Wesson, but. That's a much better way to scan your target. Use the preview button and use the crop tool to zoom in on the area of the target that you want and use that rather than the basic scanned version or whatever the scanner wants to give you. Uh, you don't have to zoom in that closely. I mean you can use the crop tool just to maybe get rid of the extra space on the top and the bottom and do it that way. So you can kind of play with this crop tool and see what works best for you with marking your targets and and uh, getting a, a good scanned image. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please click the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy reloading.